So if you're interested, so if you're interested in seeing how, so if you're, hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to show you guys how I refresh my day two curls. Um, I styled my hair yesterday, put a little bit of product in it, and this is what it looks like after day two. So if you're interested in seeing how I refresh my curls, then keep on watching. So this is how my hair has been all day. So let's assess this damage. So I usually just take out the scrunchie, fluff it out a little bit. Let me take out these hoops. Alright. So as you can see, there's not like a lot of frizziness going on. there's not too much damage so if you can take a look it's mainly just really frizzy like right here where I lost all the curl definition a little bit right here because obviously my hair was in a ponytail so I lost some curl definition up here on my crown area and then just like a little bit right on these front pieces but this is my day two hair so the first thing I do is I take my spray bottle, it's more like a mist bottle, um, and I just flip my hair and I spray a little bit right here, distribute the water, spray a little more, distribute it again, and then I kind of work my way around the front of my face. So I just spray and distribute the water. Now once I feel like everything is pretty wet, not soaking wet, but you know, wet enough to the point where like it just doesn't feel dry. What? <laughs> wet enough to the point that I feel like I can manage my hair. Alright. And now I'm gonna spray the front pieces because those are a mess. So I kind of just do it from the back. I mean, from afar. I'm literally getting my whole face wet right now. Um, and then I do the same thing and I just kind of like run my fingers through it to make sure that the product is evenly, the product, why do I keep saying the product? The water is evenly distributed through my hair to kind of reactivate the product that was in my hair. And I do the same to the other side. This side's not going to really need any work because it looks fine now. Like once I wet it, kind of got its shape back together. This side's going to need a little bit more of work. This side's going to need a little bit more work just because, like, I don't know if you see that little curl that's still like pointing upwards. But usually when you spray a little bit of water, your hair should be fine. This side's just being stubborn, so I'm going to spray a little bit more. I'm just going to run the product like that. And then sometimes if I feel like there's not enough product, like if I don't feel the residue, I add just a tiny little bit more just because if you put too much, you're just going to feel, like you feel your the product residue on your hair and you literally feel like your hair is being weighed down. You like feel like every time you touch your hair you feel like the product in your hair and I don't know like I personally don't really like that feeling I feel like it's just it makes my hair just feel dirty and gunky so I try to put as minimal product as I can so my hair just feels light so my hair feels light and airy rather than kind of weighed down and heavy and I still put too much on my hands so I'm just gonna put it where I spray the water and I just, I don't even like rake through, I just kind of like run my hand down like this. And that way it just coats the curls that need it. And then I kind of shake it into place and I don't touch it. So this is the way that I refresh my hair for minimal frizz. Like I don't, like I, just, I just don't mess with the curls whatsoever. I let them do their thing unless it's like completely destroyed like 
I mean, I personally don't mind this, but like, like this one, for example, like I'll literally just pick up the curl itself, spray it a little bit, take a little bit of product and just run it through and like, let her do her thing. I feel like I don't really, like I'll spray a little bit, but I personally don't think I need, I'll do it for the sake of this video, but like, with this frizz that I have like back here, I personally don't mind it. I usually just focus on the front because the front is usually the frizziest of all because obviously like my hair gets pulled back. But the back, I don't know. I don't really like mind the frizziness just because I don't know. I personally don't mind volume. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna spray a little bit to get rid of the frizz. And then once again, oh, run the water through my hair so I don't have like those random droplets. The way I try to distribute the water through my hair, I like start by rubbing it down, but I also kind of just like pick it up and run my fingers that way. So like this, because if I just do this, it's just gonna, you know, give my hair that random, like the triangle shape and I don't want that. So I want to keep the volume in the back. So I do this. And that way I run the water through my hair without flattening the back of my head. You see that? And now I'm going to take a little bit of product and do the same thing. Give my hair a little shake. That's it. 